Good afternoon, one and all. Are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? Yes, we are able to hear. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, the opportunity to meet you all in this afternoon, in this uh, auspicious day, uh, the day of uh, National Public Health Dentistry Day being celebrated all over the country. Uh, thank you for uh, coming here and uh, spending your valuable time. I could say a lot of students still interested to participate in this uh, program. Uh, that seems to be a good hope for uh, the future in public health industry. I mean, are you, my, is my voice clear and are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Shall I start or share my screen? Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So today we are going to see or have a few insights or an overview of uh, what is public health industry and what public health industry people are doing so far and what is the scope of doing a master in public health industry. Uh, I hope this will be a very uh, interesting topic. Um, of this day. So, can I go to the next slide? Are you able to see the second slide? Doctors, are you able to see the second slide? Is my slide moving? This is my first slide. This is my second slide. Is my slide so moving, sir? Yes, yeah, I slide Okay. Uh, now, the public health industry is usually they concentrate more on uh, oral health camps. As soon as we hear the person, public health dentist, uh, so many years before, uh, most of our students were not familiar of such a specialty. Now, in the past 20 years, uh, most of them are now aware of this branch. Uh, this is because of uh, in early 1990s, a small group of uh, like-minded uh, public health dentist people who graduated at that time, they formed a small uh, association with a common dream, uh, that is to form a common platform for exchange of views and uh, information so that effective preventive programs can be uh, delivered in this uh, country. We need to accept that India is still a developing country. It has uh, it has multi-religious, multi-ethnic, and multi-linguistic uh, communities uh, living here. Still, the statistics says seventy percentage of them are in the rural area. They are served by only twenty percentage of uh, health professionals. So that we have to accept, and uh, the rural area is being neglected. Okay. So now, after this community dentistry, previously called as now emerged as public health industry and again it's going to be renamed as preventive and public health industry. So after this specialty came into existence and uh, the formation of uh, uh, this organization, uh, now it has rapidly expanded to other uh, rural areas. The oral health importance has uh, drastically increased in many, many, many people's mind. And they are not only now giving awareness on uh, oral health, but now you can see a lot of pictures what uh, we have uh, spoke, uh, showing it to you. It happens in every colleges uh, all over the country where the public dentists have taken responsibilities uh, to raise awareness on HIV, blood donation, environment safety, hand hygiene, okay, yoga, and uh, of course, uh, along with uh, tobacco, ill effects. So they have uh, woman empowerment. So many dimensions now the public health dentists are started working in that we, we can see, uh, clearly visualize this happening all over the country 
this clearly indicates the significance of this uh, speciality and its need in future as well as the scope for public health industry is always there that we have to keep in our mind okay so that is how this organization has grown so more still some of them uh, some students especially undergraduate uh, consider this subject to be a, a non clinical subject they categorize it the some criteria and they put it under non clinical subject which is not so all subjects in dentistry are always clinical there is no broad classification don't categorize it like that every subject in industry is going to handle patients welfare only all of them are going to some way contribute to the benefit of the patient needs oral health care so don't just abruptly come to a classification of a clinical subject it is a non clinical subject first delete that uh, thought from your minds is all the subjects are clinical and keep in your mind public dentistry is of course a clinical subject don't consider or underestimate or put it under a category called as a non clinical subject and try to ignore it because as the slide moves you can surely understand the need of this subject okay so indian uh, association of public health dentistry was started to enhance the oral health of the indian community through community or team efforts so it was started only with 24 members now the membership strength has drastically increased to 1600 plus so many institutional members are also there who are around 3000 members who have been actively contributing for the uh, grow, uh, for, for, for the welfare of the public especially to improve their oral health so the uh, vision of this association is to prevent and control oral health through organized community efforts across the country the mission is to commit the highest quality of dental care to individuals and community with warm care and professional expertise for the benefit of the public so this presentation is more mostly to uh, motivate the younger generation especially the undergraduates as well as to uh, to uh, give knowledge to the post graduates so that uh, we can all definitely enjoy the privilege of uh, calling ourselves as a public health dentist okay so who we are we take up lot of challenges to upgrade complete health for the public with growth and support of oral health campaigns and promotion of disease prevention and we frame lot of agenda our, our agenda is to help the public understand that oral health directly links to overall health so what we do what you see we have seen in the second slide itself like it is asked uh, to prevent and control oral diseases making oral health an important part of our well being through community activities and it's mainly that we strive to spread the importance of oral health care by serving the community with awareness and educates the public with the benefits of being having better dental hygiene so this is what we do okay moving further we will see what are the various scope that a public dentist have or the privileges they enjoy as well as what are the scope they have compared to other specialties okay so dentistry is ranked first we have to understand the people most of the undergraduates think that there are so many dental colleges so many dentists coming every every year Uh, getting graduated so many dental clinics are uh, mushrooming uh, all over the country it is all very nice to hear this shows the positivity that dentists are in need of the country don't get scared by thinking about the numbers the number of dentists or the number of uh, public dentists coming out okay it is a good sign that the country is now in need of so many dentists and they are available to serve such a large population that we have to keep it in our mind and it is all statistics only it is not my own uh, data which i have gathered it is uh, dentistry is ranked one of the top 10 professions in most of the developed nations of the world so we should be proud to be calling ourselves as a dentist okay and doing a master in public dentistry is a challenging yet a highly respected and rewarding profession 
so we get a lot of recognition within a short period of time from the community that we have to totally understand unlike other professions achieving uh, or uh, achieving good uh, name in this uh, branch is very easy in public industry you can be easily come into the light when you do a lot of camps or take interest in developing the people's um, uh, oral health by doing a lot of surveys bringing out new data and uh, formulation of policies whatever you do everything is uh, accepted and it is a reward you get all this uh, uh, credits within a short duration unlike other specialties you need to really struggle hard so hard to become a good oral surgeon to be recognized at a later later age but here even a, a young public dentist can gain a lot of rewards and achievements or credits from the institution as well as from the uh, local area uh, within a short period of time that we have to totally understand so what are the pros of being a public dentist so you you will definitely enjoy a work life balance being a public dentist what is work life balance unlike other specialties where uh, people don't spend time for their family or to the society so they will be more engaged uh, i'm not underestimating them but still they will be more occupied or uh, into their profession or uh, being unnoticed and even they cannot spend life to their uh, family members or to their kids whereas being a public health dentist definitely you enjoy a very good work life balance that everybody have to accept because you will be like working as a public health dentist in the community every evening you can definitely go to your uh, house look after your kids and your families we don't have night duty so far and uh, we definitely get the recognition of the people or uh, reach the masses within a short period of time and you are always uh, rewarded for it okay so that is very true about a public health dentist it is a stress free job actually okay then self employment self employment you are the boss when you start up your own clinic or you have your own department guided by your senior professors you have the liberty to discuss what are the needs of the people if you feel that this location of people no needs more priority your institution is always ready to support you in all aspects as well as when you want to uh, uh, start or initiate any social programs in your local communities you can always have the right to open up you can join with any ngo and start working on any activities that is taking place in that particular area and this always gives an opportunity to help people after all we have joined or taken this profession to help the people okay that is our main motto we took this profession as uh, being a doctor of course everybody wanted to become an mbbs doctor but uh, okay some accepted i will want to be a dentist okay uh, we just want to help people this will this satisfaction is achieved only when we become a public health industry you can feel the community their need and once you do a lot of service to them definitely even a small uh, rickshaw people or people who are for uh, the very low level economically they will definitely recognize you and they will uh, uh, give a lot of rewards and blessings to you uh, that is a very good credit as a human being you can definitely enjoy and job stability is of course there in public health industry it is always necessary that the demand for oral health is going to be there okay it is going to be there throughout and uh, uh, there it is of course a job a stable profession their need for uh, dental problem uh, in dental problems highly uh, increasing in the country and uh, many dentists are required in many untouched areas of the population so job stability is 100% there especially for a public health dentist okay so uh, doing a master in uh, the dentistry is very good especially in public health dentistry is very very good option for individuals who are interested in working at the intersection of dentistry and public health 
who want to serve to the public, this option is a very good one. Public dentistry focuses on promoting oral health and preventing dental disease. So in world, any any uh, anybody who asks, prevention is better than cure. So any nobody can uh, tell a wrong information that why you are doing a preventive uh, dentistry. That is what is the need of the world. Everybody should practice preventive dentistry. That is the blood of public dentistry, prevention. So public dentists, uh, they get a lot of uh, reward in their career. If you want to be very uh, good in uh, serving the people, you should take this uh, subject seriously and become a public health dentist. So we will cover a lot of major areas, which is very important, which other specialty people may not be aware of, like epidemiology, health promotion, policy planning, research, community outreach. All these are areas of speciality which most of the physicians are not aware and now they want to learn all this to inculcate that in their research papers or to develop their own specialties. They now take our guidance. You would have seen a lot of specialty people asking for guidance in biostatistics or research methodology. Most of the institutions get the knowledge of the public health industry to frame their uh, guidelines for any inspection purpose or for any any uh, research committees that is happening or uh, all these areas public health interests are the number one in these areas okay so key roles and responsibilities of public health interest in india is community oral health programs public health interest plays a crucial role in designing and implementing community oral health programs to improve access to the dental care and promote oral health awareness among the population. Okay. So they are the main uh, policy uh, stakeholders for this policy development. Okay. They are the guide for the national state level uh, uh, policies to uh, develop uh, uh, oral health framework for all these. They, they are the contributors especially because they hold the data or they have the thorough knowledge on policy formation that we have to understand. So the nation always needs a public health dentist. So research. Research is, of course, uh, we have been seeing a lot of guidance being given by the public health dentist uh, to other specialties and, uh, of course, for other, uh, other postgraduates also in various fields of uh, their special research. So advocacy, public health dentists advocate for oral health promotion and disease prevention strategies at various forums to raise awareness about the importance of oral health. Education and training, public health dentists are involved in educating and training not only the dental professionals within the campus, but also community health workers and general public. They play a dual, dual role. The public health dentist can develop or bring up a good dentist as well as the develop a good citizen also. Okay, so they have the capability. So what are the options after BDS? So if you understand this, then we will see uh, how can a pub, being a public health dentist will make us to achieve all these opportunities easily. Okay, pursuing masters in dental surgery, there are so many ways to achieve this. We have to take the neat exam. Nowadays, and then we have to secure and definitely get an opportunity to become a public health dentist. Okay, this is the right time to take a seat on public health dentist actually, because in future there is be going to be a lot of demand for a public health dentist. Okay, then we can become a master in public health by doing an MPH. We will uh, go in detail later on. We can become a master in business administration, that is in hospital management and administration. There is very good scope if you if you study public health industry as your postgraduate subject, and then you take MPH or MBA, it will be absolutely very easy. I'm telling you out of my own experience, it's very easy to take the MBA exams after you become an MDS public health dentist. And clinical practice, nobody else can practice like a public dentist because he knows how to handle a lot of crowd. Then he must be absolutely confident in handling a single patient in his clinic. Okay, So they are never 
worried about a larger population, it is becomes very easy for them to handle uh, psychologically a single patient in their clinic, how to com communicate with them, how to counsel them, how to make them to accept the treatment. So all this is, becomes very easy when you become a master in public education. So an academic career is very, very good in public dentists. There is a large demand for public dentists. So who are ready to take up research and then try to increase the publication and give a lot of guidance to the postgraduates and then increase the ranking. So there is, of course, a large demand for public dentist students. And there is good demand for government jobs, especially after PDS. Then imagine. Being a public dentist, definitely we will have a lot of government opportunities. Of course, research, then forensic odontology. And we will see what are the opportunities in overseas and what we can do best. Okay. There are other options also, which uh, nowadays becomes very easy. I, I can see a lot of public dentists and dentists becoming bloggers and influencers, okay, giving a lot of training for neat exams and for various programs. Okay how to run up a practice. All these advices are given by the public health dentist overall. They are working as insurance agents in health sectors. And there is a good scope of nanotechnology. Most of nanotechnology papers coming in India comes from, uh, especially in field of dentistry, comes from public health dentist because they are now having time to work on nanotechnology. Okay. So we will see what are the government opportunities for a public health dentist. Okay. Uh, definitely, most of them are interested. First priority for anybody is to uh, get into a government job. Okay. Uh, that is uh, government hospitals, primary health centers. A lot of opportunities are available in primary health centers throughout the country. Okay. So, only thing we have, it is of course, nowadays we can... House, they will gather data and then provide and take care of the uh, community very easily because they can handle the uh, large number of crowd or the population or they can survive in a rural area better than any other specialties because they have already undergone a lot of training doing their PG programs. Okay. So they can become a role in the army dental corps. Public interest definitely can they are, they are always welcome because there is a scarcity of public health dentist in army dental corps nowadays. So only thing students are not applying for such a job opportunities. Definitely, it is a very challenging and very prestigious job to work here. And now, even after without taking neat exam, also you can become territorial officers in Indian Army. There is a good scope for public health dentist or dentist all over. Especially, they can join in railways. Public dentist scope is very good in railways. Recently, many interviews were conducted. Uh, they are taking in a contractual basis. After one or two years, you can become a permanent staff also, and their need is highly demanding. Okay. You can join the uh, Indian uh, Air Force and Navy as contractual dental officers. So you, you can develop yourself, see a lot of dental clinics being inaugurated. So these are the evidences what I have uh, given, giving it to you. Okay, if you are a good public dentist or uh, even after you undergraduate, you can definitely take up all these opportunities. You should uh, keep your vision clear and uh, start working on it. There is always a demand for dentists. And UPX SE exams, uh, which I was telling that, most of you are telling you that is a common but why a dentist becoming an IAS officer. There is a set of examples here. Okay, Dr. Tanu Jain was graduated from uh, Meerut, that is uh, Subrati Medical College, and in 2015, she developed uh, her career as a uh, working in an Army Air Force headquarters. And again, she took a role in uh, started preparing for civil services exam with a lot of struggles and hurdles. and. And uh, now she seems to be an example for other young uh, uh, undergraduates. Uh, definitely, if they want to work hard, can become an IAS officer later on. Okay. And now she is now quit her uh, job after seven and a half years of her service. And now she is giving training to 
uh, giving UPSC coaching centers. So I think she is now uh, running. So this is uh, another inspiration where uh, where uh, Dr. Tanu, Tanu Jain stands as an example. Uh, even a public dentist also can definitely come forward to take up these uh, exams. It becomes very easy, actually. Everybody should make an attempt to get into such streams. Okay. So options overseas. Okay. And uh, USA, there are uh, many of them would have served and would have found out. But uh, when I see there are a lot of exams that has to be uh, NBD exams has to be taken and uh, you, if you're taking those exams it becomes easy when you study public health dentistry. Okay, most of the questions what uh, my students see that most of them were uh, preventive oriented questions that were asked for these uh, exams. So you should give more priority for the subject of public health dentistry when you are reading the subject as such. Don't omit it. Okay, so New Zealand board exams also takes lot of questions from uh, prevent, preventive aspects and uh, Canadian exams, good scope for public health dentists. You can easily clear this exam and uh, work in Canada. Australia, I have personally visited these countries also, USA and Australia, we've seen a lot of uh, public health dentists working there. They have cleared most of their papers and they are now recognized by the Australian Dental Council. Okay, they are now practicing there. Definitely, there is a good scope to work in abroad. In Singapore, the degree is recognized. They will also accept us. UAE must have a DOH license provided by the Dubai Health Authority. If we clear that even BDS is sufficient for them, imagine a public dentist applying for them will be a great boon to them because they are now uh, want more of a PhD researchers nowadays. Most of the recruitment they need most of uh, uh, PhD peoples nowadays with uh, uh, higher qualification to improve their research work. Okay, in Gulf country also the scenario is same. There are so many new colleges and universities are coming in these countries with a lot of opportunities for public interest. I have clearly witnessed most of my postgraduates being working in so many uh, Gulf countries. Okay, I am in touch with them. Okay, so there is a good scope to work in abroad, right? Career opportunities in clinical research after MDS. Okay. So, undergoing this, there is a this clinical dental research is undergoing a lot of changes nowadays in the scope, methods, and instrumentation and diagnostic technologies. Okay. With the increased awareness of quality of uh, uh, healthcare in developing countries, advanced biotechnology availability, the scope for clinical dental uh, research is also increasing with the support of lot of computer-aided uh, technology in diagnostic science, molecular methods, clinical measurements. The research in uh, dentistry is now becoming uh, very easy as well as more accurate. More accurate diagnosis can be uh, made uh, with, the, with the change in the uh, dental disease pattern. With the shift, is, we can see a lot of shift in the focus of research to explore unknown etiological factors and etiopathogenesis. There is always an increase in demand of trained and experienced clinical investigators in industry. Public industry, they know the various levels of clinical trials and how it has to be conducted, how it has to be monitored, okay, how it has reporting has to be given. All these guidelines, the public industry are very much aware of it. Only thing is that they are not stepping into clinical dental research. All of the public dentist students, postgraduates want to compete with their own staffs and they want to become faculty in their own colleges. That is their ultimate goal, I think. We have to look forward and start working on clinical dental research. That is a very good area in, in um, developing tools for uh, dentistry, patenting, okay, design patents. A lot of patents can be applied in field of dentistry. So you can acquire those knowledge of how to do a patent and develop the habit to submit a lot of uh, research papers and patent works. And then you can uh, work on all the biomaterials out in all specialty areas you can start working. Not only concentrating only on uh, preventive dentistry, you can now be eligible to work in every specialty area since you know the way how to do a dental research. Especially behavioral science is also a good branch to work upon. Okay. 
then focus can be given on control of major etiological factors like clock control, tobacco tea addiction by appropriate behavioral methods and newer techniques. All this can be implemented only with the thorough knowledge on clinical dental research that is provided by a public health dentistry. So public health dentists have a thorough knowledge in all these fields. They are very much expert in handling medical terminologies, diseases, treatments that are part of clinical research syllabus. The public dentist can contribute significantly to clinical research on various oral diseases because of their experience in the handling patients, especially they come across a lot of community people with uh, diversified, uh, uh, diversified oral uh, diseases. There are a lot of uh, come across various people. For example, in a camp area, you can see a lot of people using a different method of cooking and their impact on oral health, which so many other people would have not uh, even uh, diagnosed or uh, thought about it. So because they step into the kitchen of every house, they see the environment where they live and what are the factors that influence hidden factors or unexplored factors prevailing among the community. So a public dentist has adequate knowledge. He, they know the standard rules and guidelines, the framework that has to be followed, the protocol that has to be followed in clinical research. Uh, they read, we read about all the rules and regulations, right from setting up dental practice, right from biomedical waste, consumer protection, and uh, intellectual property rights. We, we are learning a lot of legal aspects also comes under this uh, public interest, how to handle uh, legal implications in uh, happening in the uh, dental world. All this uh, public interest will have a thorough knowledge. So public health dentistry is a, as a clinical research physician. You can become a clinical research physician by monitoring the physical health of uh, trial volunteers and ensuring their safety, keep track of any changes that are occurring in their body and decide what is safe to, whether it's safe to continue the trial on them or not. Then carry out uh, training uh, for the clinical study team and provide expertise in the trial process. So we have a good scope to work as a clinical research physicians. They can also become a medical claim officer. It is anybody interested to become a desk job uh, taker, then it is a very good job. We can easily settle the claims, evaluate their uh, records and uh, help them work in insurance companies also, which they pay a lot also. They play an important role in medical billing process by deciding the final compensation a patient can get after the settlement process. Most of the public dentists can avail such opportunities. And regulatory affairs officers, so NABH inspections, they can take up exams, become inspectors, they work in as advisory boards, the committee members, they can be part of these uh, uh, regulatory programs happening in the world. Okay. They, they conduct regulatory audits for the process, products and labeling and packaging process. So many pharmaceutical companies uh, take up uh, public health dentists uh, to frame guidelines, to evaluate their products and their success rate, to find out the alterations or uh, that they want to make into their uh, oral health uh, products. They want the support of the public health dentist. Public health dentist as medical transcriptionist. So it involves converting voice files of uh, medical documents to text format. Most of the abroad hospitals, uh, most of the students are now working on it. It uh, becomes very easy because of the knowledge of communication and uh, with the support of uh, various medical terminologies, which they are familiar with, uh, even in undergraduate as well as in public uh, as a postgraduate. So these are some of the challenges for other uh, professionals actually, because uh, they don't have a sufficient knowledge on research. If you talk with uh, some research, other specialty people, they don't have sufficient knowledge on uh, research and uh, time constraint is very difficult for them because of the, their uh, other uh, academic and clinical responsibilities and the day, lack of extensive research abilities and experience. The lack of proper guidance, uh, especially happening in their specialties. Pressure of adjusting with the new profession while maintaining a work-life balance is difficult. 
whereas it becomes very easy for optical dentists to easily handle all this uh, challenges and become a good research so sub specialty training is being given in lot of uh, other uh, government recognized universities especially in field of uh, forensic dentistry where we can do a lot of uh, msc programs in uh, forensic dentistry and become a forensic odontologist so now with the increase in uh, knowledge or awareness on ai so this is going to be the next level of uh, dental professionals uh, a field so with the good knowledge on ai and develop their skills to learn about ai community dentistry can easily use this for uh, screening purpose in a larger population where an ai tool will help us to screen larger population uh, within a limited period of time uh, and make an accurate diagnosis uh, very easily <coughs> excuse me uh, they can take a lot of short-term courses. What I advise is, instead of uh, putting yourself like, I am a public dentist, I don't have a scope to work in clinics like that. A lot of short-term courses are happening around the country. If you are really passionate to learn about this, kindly learn, uh, put it in uh, practice, take it to the untouched areas of the country. And uh, definitely, if you learn on rotary, implant, lace, uh, is that I'm very sure most of the public dentists having their own clinics are now fully learning about this. Okay. Can do smile designing, veneers and laminates. Nobody is going to stop us. Okay. So you can de definitely get trained in these areas also and try to implement them in your practice. Okay. So what is the, how the world health professional will be in 2040? There is, we see a lot of climatic changes everywhere, also the political changes. So, whereas the oral health professionals now have to develop the habit to work as a team. So, very soon we might expect a dentist might become interlinked with the medical curriculum also. So, in that area, the public dentist has a very good scope. Okay. So, now we educators have to develop uh, some innovative curriculum and uh, educational methods also to support the students because by 2040, it is expected that many dentists will be employed with a large group practice. It is not going to be a single uh, dental practice. Very soon it will be a interlink wherein support of every professional is needed. Okay. So understanding all these uh, broad areas which uh, I have mentioned will definitely make us to feel a good public dentist. After doing a special, after becoming a public dentist, it is easy to set up a clinic. We can understand our limits and boundaries. Uh, you accept that all and more, more number of dentists are practicing within uh, uh, clustered in a one particular uh, area. That is a problem. As a public dentist, take it a challenge to take this dentistry to other areas also. Most of them are now practicing. It will be very easy to install a a chair at an affordable price, set up a small clinic and uh, try to run the clinic uh, in those areas. The investment will not be more than 50,000. Okay, start with uh, primary prevention and extend that to other levels slowly. Definitely the people will be enjoying your support. Always be very proud to become a public dentist or feel proud to be a public dentist. So whatever information I have gathered is only for your, uh, whatever has come to my mind, I have tried to collect it and put it. It is not that you have to strictly uh, follow this or be some errors somewhere, or you might have any other bigger scopes and dreams also. Chase those dreams and uh, find your own way to understand and uh, set your own path. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, we just ask if anybody has any questions to ask us. Anybody who has a question, that's fine. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, like... Any questions, anybody? Uh, we thank you, sir. I'm sure the students have a lot of questions.
actually your voice is little breaking sir uh, you yeah, just yeah. give me a call i will attend sir hello No, sir. Uh, yeah, tell me, sir. Actually, voice is breaking, sir. Uh, I can't hear, but uh, the live audio.